This lesson covers the material from Module 4, Lesson 20, uh, where we're converting uh, units of measure within the same system, uh, customary measures. And it begins with some problems from the problem set and continues with a couple of the word problems from the practice set. And at the end, we have two of the more difficult problems, word problems, in the from the homework. And we'll give you some guidance as to how to solve those. Okay, let's get started with uh, some of our simple conversions here. So, well, much as we've done in the past, we have 4 and 2 thirds feet equals 4 and 2 thirds times 1 foot. And 1 foot is the same as 12 inches, so 4 and 2 thirds times 12 inches. We're now going to convert our mixed number into an improper fraction. So I have 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14 thirds times 12. That's the same as 14 times 12 divided by 3 or over 3. Now we want to look for those opportunities to find the common factors so that we don't have to work with such great numbers. Both 12 and 3 are divisible by 3. And now we have 14 times 4. I know that 10 times 4 is 40, and 4 times 4 is 16, so I have 56. So it equals 56 inches. Let's go on and look at the next one. Next one we're going from smaller units to larger units. So I have 9 and 1 half pints equals 9 and 1 half times 1 pint. And one pint is the same as half a quart. So nine and one half times one half quart. Continuing, we'll change our nine and one half into an improper fraction. Nine times two is eighteen plus one is nineteen. Nineteen halves times one half equals nineteen times one over two times two. And we end up with nineteen. 19 halves, or excuse me, 19 fourths, and we now change that back to a mixed number, and we get 4 and 3 fourths quarts. A few more examples here, and I remember to put my headphones on so the sound is probably a little better. So I have 3 and 3 fifths hours equals three and three-fifths times one hour. One hour is the same as 60 minutes, so we have three and three-fifths times 60 minutes. Again, changing our mixed number into an improper fraction. Three times five is 15, plus three is 18, so we have 18 fifths times 60. Moving along, 18 times 60 over 5. We want to take advantage of our common factors, and both 5 and 60 are divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 60 divided by 5 is 12. Okay, we still uh, have to do a little more calculating here. Most of us probably have to do this out, and there's no shame in doing that. Don't guess the answers uh, when you've done all these steps and all this hard work. So we're going to write this going vertically, and I get 2 times a is 16, and regroup the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and we're now multiplying from the tens place, and 1 times 18 is pretty simple, and we get 6 in the ones place, 11, regroup, and we get 216. So, 3 and 3 fifths hours equals 216 minutes. Okay, one last example of simple conversions. I have 3 and 2 thirds feet equals 3 and 2 thirds times 1 foot. 3 and 2 thirds 
times, well, one foot is the same as one third of a yard. So I'm going to now change this to an, an improper fraction. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. 11 thirds times 1 third equals 11 times 1 over 3 times 3. And we get 11 ninths. And we can convert that to a mixed number. It becomes 1 and 2 ninths. So 1 and 2 ninths yards. All right, now we get some of the word problems here, and uh, they're always adding an extra twist to here, uh, to these, but uh, as you learn to tackle these more complex problems, you'll be uh, finding state assessments much easier. So what do we have here? I have three dump trucks are carrying topsoil to a construction site. Truck A carries 3,545 pounds. Truck B carries 1,758 pounds. Truck C carries 3,697. How many tons of topsoil are the three trucks carrying all together? The first thing we need to uh, take into account here is we are given uh, the weight of these in pounds and they want the answer in tons. Well, all together, that uh, gives us a clue as to what's going on. So we could make a tape diagram, and uh, we'll make three trucks, and we have A, B, and C. We find, want to find the total. So A is 3,545, and truck B is 1,758, and truck C is 3,697. That's very simple. We need to find the sum. So I have 3,545, 1,758, and I have 3,697. We'll find the sum. 5 plus 8 plus 7. Well, 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 5 is 20. So we'll regroup that too. And now we're going to add 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Regroup the 2. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 2 is, once again, 20. And now we'll find the sum of 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 2 is 9. So the sum of this is 9,000. So I have 9,000 pounds equals 9,000 times 1 pound. And that's the same as 9,000. There's 2,000 uh, pounds in a ton, so one, 1 pound is the same as 1 two thousandths of a ton. We now have 9,000 divided by 2,000. And uh, if we divide each of these uh, by 1,000 here, correct? So I could divide uh, 9,000 by 1,000, and I get 9, and 2,000 by 1,000, and I get 2, right? Those are my common factors. I have 9 halves tons, which equals 4 and one half tons. Moving along. Okay, this one's a fairly complex problem. It's uh, got a lot in common with the last one on the homework, so I'm going to do this one. Let's read it. Marvin buys oh, wrong tool. Marvin buys hose a hose that is 27 and three fourths feet long. He already owns a hose at home that is two-thirds the length of the new hose. How many total yards of hose does Marvin have now? Let's uh, draw a little diagram. Always a good idea. So, I have my original hose, or the one we buy, rather. 
and we know that's 27 and 3 fourths feet. We're going to partition this into three equal parts. We're going to represent the second hose, which is two-thirds the length. We want to find the total, and after we find the total, we need to convert feet to yards. So let's find the length of the second hose. That would be two-thirds times 27 and three-fourths. We're going to change 27 and three-fourths to a, uh, an improper fraction. And 27 times 4, I'm thinking 25 times 4 is 100. There's two more that would be 108 plus 3, which is 111 fourths. All right, those are some pretty big numbers, but we have some opportunities to make this easier by finding common factors. The 2 and the 4 are simple enough, right? They're both divisible by 2. This becomes a 1, and this becomes a 2. And if I look at my numerator of my second factor, I see 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 111 is divisible by 3, so we can divide 3 by 3, and 111 divided by 3. So I'm going to just take this aside and do that out. I get 3, 9, 21. That is the same as 37. So now I have 1 times 37 over th uh, 1 times 2, and I end up with 37 halves. And that equals 18 and 1 half feet. But we have feet, we want to go to yards. Okay, now we need to find the sum of the two. We know that the second hose here is 18 and a half. So we have 27 and 3 fourths uh, plus 18 and 1 half. Uh, I usually do that horizontally, but uh, in fact I will, because that's the procedure that I've taught you this year. So we have 27 and 3 fourths plus 18 and 1 half. I find the sum of the whole numbers first. So when I add those, I have 5 in the 1's place, and I regroup a 1, and I have 45. Then I'm going to add plus 3 fourths plus 1 half equals 45, plus 3 fourths plus 2 fourths equals 45 plus 5 fourths equals 46 and 1 fourth. Now we need to change that to yards. So I'm going to have 46 and 1 fourth feet equals 46 and 1 fourth times 1 foot equals 46 and 1 fourth and one foot is equal to one third of a yard. We're now going to change 46 and one fourth uh, to an improper fraction, and we get 185 fourths times one third. All right, I'm going to take a look at this, and I, I don't have any easy outs here, so I'm going to simply have 185 twelfths. And we'll have to do some division. So 185 divided by 12 goes in once. I subtract my 12. I get a 65. And 12 goes into 65 uh, five times. Five. That is 60 and a remainder of five. So I have 15 and five twelfths. Pretty complex uh, set of uh, problems here, uh, but like I said, if you can tackle these, you can tackle anything. All right, uh, homework. This is problem three. Problem two is not bad. It's fairly simple and straightforward. There's just one piece of extraneous information. Horace buys 
two and three-fourths pounds of blueberries for a pie. He needs 48 ounces of blueberries for the pie. How many more pounds of blueberries does he need to buy? Well, note that we have uh, to get our answer in pounds, and we also have the amount that he buys expressed in pounds. However, the amount that he needs is expressed in ounces. Well, the easiest thing to do here is to first convert this one to pounds. And once we convert that to pounds, we need to see how many we need. So he has two and three-fourths. And we don't know how many more he needs, a question mark there. But we know that he needs 48 ounces. Well, 48 ounces equals blank pounds. Once you calculate that, it's pretty simple to see what to do with the tape diagram here. <coughs> Excuse me, one last one. Homework, last problem. Uh, Tiffany is sending a package that may not exceed 16 pounds. The package contains a book that weighs it, books that weigh a total of 9 and 3 eighths pounds. The other items to be sent weigh three-fifths the weights of the book. How or will Tiffany be able to send the package? Well, what do we have to do here? We have to find the sum of two things. So we know that the books are 9 and 3 fourths, 3 eighths pounds. And we're going to partition that into five equal parts. And we're going to represent the other items. So these are books and O for other items. And that'll be three-fifths. We need to find the total of that. Uh, we don't have to convert units, thankfully, here. So it's simpler than that last problem from the uh, practice set. Uh, once we do that, we need to compare our number with 16. Okay, so whatever our answer is in that question mark, compare to 16. And we should be able to answer the question. We need to come in under 16.